vice principal, supervisor, teachers, parents, and my dear class classes. I am standing attention for the national anthem. Kindly raise your right hand for the pledge. India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always try to be worthy of it. I shall give my parents, teachers, and all elders respect and treat everyone with courtesy. To my country, and my people. I pledge my devotion. In their well-being and prosperity alone lies my happiness. End of the pledge. Kindly be seated. Since ancient times, prayers have a power of creating a serene atmosphere that helps to instill ethical values and faith in God. I now call upon Rayan Sayyar to lead us into prayer. Father, we thank you for the night and for the pleasant morning light, for rest and food and loving care, and all that makes the world so fair. Help us to the things we should to be to others. Kind and good, in all we say, to grow more loving every day. Meditation helps to build skills, one stress. During this pandemic time of coronavirus, it enhances patience, tolerance, and imagination and helps to gain a new perspective towards this stressful situation. I call upon to lead us into meditation. It is rightly said that the day that begins with meditation is nourishing and enriching for the mind and body. So this morning, I invite each one of you to close your eyes and sit in a comfortable position. Focus on breath. Breathe deeply and slowly. See power, gratitude, cooperation, health, vibrations of protection has to be reached to each and every one. I am a divine soul. Purity, divinity are my personality. My every thought, my every word is pure and a blessing. I I'm a powerful soul. My mind is stable, peaceful, and focused. 
I'm not going to be influenced. Coronavirus situation. Instead, I'm going to influence this coronavirus situation. I am a fearless soul. Fearless and confident. Peace is my religion. Peace is my nature. My mind is peaceful. My words are sweet. My body is healthy and will always be. Got God's power and God's blessing surround me completely like a golden white light. I am safe. Everyone is filled with God's power. My world, country, my family, all are protected. Success is certain. Victory is certain. Gratitude to God. Gratitude to every soul and to everyone who is not thinking about themselves are serving us day and night. Now gently open your eyes. Good morning. I wish you a peaceful, powerful, safe and a healthy morning. Oh, hey, good morning to our rector, Reverend Father Spina de Souza. Our principal, Reverend Father Bernard Fernandez. Our vice principal, Richard de Souza. Our AHM, Mrs. Christina Maskelmus. Our supervisor, Ms. Elizabeth Soros. And my dear friends, all welcome to the virtual assembly of Standard 5B with the theme Humanity Still Exists, which comes inspired based on our school team, Committed Citizens Rebuilding a Fragile World. Coronavirus is all about human connectivity. It forces us to confront fate, creating humanity in the process. Coronavirus defies geography and national borders. There is no escape in it because Humanity is inevitably interdependent. I now call upon Arnav to present his PPT in order to give us a better understanding. Arno, turn on your mic. Yeah. 
you may still exist. During this pandemic, while some people spoke about their own sufferings, challenges, struggles, and losses, there are few ordinary people who did some extraordinary things. The Thai hotel in Mumbai served packed food in the slums of Dharavi to BMC employees, cops, sanitation staff, and doctor. Manjunath Pujari provided free auto ambulance service to all patients. Lakshmi Mohan delivered medicines, food, and all essential to senior citizens. Sanju Sankla, this businessman stocked fodder and biscuits with medicines for stray animals. Sanguri, a bald girl, stood face masks for students. The mini hotel served food for migrant workers. Anganwadi teacher provided nutritious food during the lockdown. Twiggy and Zomato provided meals risking their life. Dr. Pratiksha lost her life so long after lunch. Unsung Economics will come and go. Economics will grow and fall. Politicians may win or lose. Governments may rise or crumble. Lose, win, war or lose. People may live or die. But one thing will remain forever. And that is humanity. Yes, humanity still exists. Humans are members of whole creation. If one member is affected with pain, other members uneasy will remain. If you have no sympathy for human pain, the name of human you cannot retain. I now call upon the twin brothers, Adish and Arzan, to cite a poem on coronavirus and humanity. Suddenly, we fell asleep in one world and woke up in another. Suddenly, Disney is out of magic and Paris is no longer romantic. Suddenly, New York doesn't stand up anymore. Suddenly, the Chinese wall is not a fortress anymore. Suddenly, hugs and kisses become weapons. Suddenly, not visiting family and friends is an act of love. Suddenly, we realize that the power, money, and beauty are worthless. They can't use the oxygen that we are. Suddenly, life continues as it is beautiful. Suddenly, life puts us in stages. It is doubtful. I think it is sending us a message. Anything can happen suddenly. Much is written about this virus that binds us but holds us up. People have taken up new hobbies 
to express themselves. Our new lifestyle has taught us not to take anything for granted. It has thrown up many challenges like sickness, loneliness, isolation, etc. I now call upon Alvin who will showcase his love for music. He engages his time with his brother by singing to them music played with the guitar. Lights, camera and here is Alvin. Monologue is a long speech by one person to an audience. Details and shares and thoughts. It is a long talk dominating a conversation. I now call upon Rhea to perform a monologue on um, Follow me.
Many people look at this pyramid as an opportunity to slow down and save our lives one day at a time. Yes, there is fear. Yes, there's isolation. Yes, there's panic buying. Yes, there is sickness. But I'm sure that the birds will sing again and the skies will turn blue again. On that positive note, a musical rendition by Shan Lee who cheers your views away. Listen to the earth. Listen to the soul. Stop polluting. Stop fighting among each other. Stop caring about materialistic things. And start loving your neighbors. Start caring about earth and its creatures. Start believing in the creator. Hello? Let us pray for our dear Father Rector. Dear God, help our dear loving Father Rector as he undergoes surgery tomorrow. In your love, guard and protect him through skills of the doctors and the care of everyone else. We ask you to bless him with good health and speedy recovery. I would now like to call upon our Reverend Father Bernard Fernandez to share his thoughts.
Good morning to all of you once again. In the first place, congratulations to your class teacher, Ms. Thea, and uh, to all of you, dear students, for conducting this beautiful uh, virtual and online assembly. They have just come out from the primary section, in the primary building into the secondary building, you're not building in the classes, but uh, you have already conducted an assembly online. Okay, so really a praiseworthy effort on uh, the part of your class teacher. Uh, you and I'm sure also with support of your parents. So congratulations to you. I'll come back to the assembly, the many details of the assembly. Yeah, let's give them a big round of applause. Okay, I think so they deserve it. In the hall, okay, we would have been applauding each other, but I think you deserve this. I'm happy that uh, at the end, uh, you'll say the little prayer for Father Rector, Father Crispino. In fact, uh, if he was well, he would have been here now addressing all of you at this assembly. Uh, you know, he loves games. And when he was uh, just playing a small game of basketball uh, last Sunday, he had what is known as an Achilles tear. It's uh, this tendon is uh, that which holds the heel and the calf together. Okay, so there was a tear over there and the doctor advised a little surgery. Uh, it will keep him off from active life and games for quite some time. Okay, and I'm thankful to you, your class teacher, and all those who prayed together with us this morning for the quick recovery scheduled for tomorrow morning. I'll convey your wishes and your prayers to Father Rector. Okay. Now, coming to the assembly, uh, I think it was a beautiful topic that you all touched upon. Okay. Humanity still exists. You don't have to go far. Okay, to experience humanity, you have to just visit the care hospitals. You have to just step outside your door. You have to just see what is happening around and you'll find thousands and thousands of people who sacrifice their life, sacrifice their time, their energy to look after those who help themselves, those who are in need of their care. You know, and I'm happy that uh, you all know about this topic beautifully. I was quite touched by your PowerPoint presentation, okay, where you all showed quite a few ordinary people who have touched the lives and lacks of okay, to their service. And I'm sure it will also move you to do a extra for people around you who need your care. Okay. okay, so I want you to Continue with uh, reflecting uh, with the reflection on of uh, this beautiful theme that humanity exists. I want to congratulate the people, uh, and I just jotted down as uh, uh, events were unfolding at the assembly. Uh, wish to congratulate Shanley again and also ended. Okay, I think he was the one who was accompanying at the national anthem. And uh, also at the end, he gave a nice rendition of a musical piece. So to nice, you know young talent and uh, that you're making use of this lockdown to develop more of your skills and talents. So congratulations. This beautiful prayer, the meditation conducted by Bela, the PowerPoint presentation, as I mentioned, the by the Batena twins. Okay, nice, nice to see you all uh, reciting that live. Then the song "Heal the World" by the two brothers, with the brother accompanying the guitar on the guitar. Okay, the monologue. And uh, 
of course, the many compares. Uh, there was the Arzan, I think so, who was presenting. Uh, who was a did a good job. Okay, and I'm not sure who was assisting you. Whether your parent uh, was assisting you. His dad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So could make out okay that there was a coordination over there, and uh, it was good, well -prepared coordination and also presentation. Uh, I also wish to comment on uh, the compares, you know, the ones who were giving the commentary. Uh, I think you all were trained well uh, to speak clearly. I always say at any assembly, an assembly is powerful if the compares who give us the commentary are clear in their speech. Uh, I think barring a few disturbances at the time of the presentation, the compass so very clear. So congratulations to all of you those who trained you and also for being trained well, okay, to ensure that the commentary was given well to us. And uh, to all of you, I could not name everyone because I do not have the names with me. But congratulations to you. I know there was a lot of effort that has gone into the preparation and the execution of this assembly. Uh, as mentioned, you all are the Benjamins, the youngest boys of the secondary section. Okay, the seniors are the 10th standard. And uh, your efforts in presenting this, this beautiful assembly is laudable. Okay, it's nice. Congratulations once again. And on behalf of the rector, also wish to uh, compliment you, your parents, and most of all, your class teacher coordinating this assembly. Congratulations also to your supervisor, who meticulously also follows up the details that is presented, any commentary that is given. So thanks to Miss Elizabeth. And also for the presence of the the Vice Principal, Sir Clifford, and the AHM, Ms. Christina. Okay, congratulations once again. Well done. Uh, Father, I would like to thank Ms. Elizabeth for taking up the voice and Ms. Bella for helping us out in the script. Very good. Parents who were cooperating very much, Father, they cooperated. They were willingly, they came forward very and good. they helped. So could, could sense it and could also see the effort Okay, uh, background. So they, have, they push the children in the forefront, but you can see a lot of effort also of the parents. So thanks and congratulations to you parents, to Bela, okay, and also Miss Elizabeth for the training of our children. Yeah. There's always a, a very a unique charm that goes into watching our youngest classes present their assembly as they just come out from primary school, that innocence and simplicity to it, and also a certain degree of finesse. And these assembly, look at them with my heart rather than my eyes. And this one was really touching in its message and the way it was presented. Divya, congratulations and congratulations. Thank you so much, Mr. To the class as well. Yes. I wish to thank the parents, especially, and my heroes, uh, because I enjoyed the experience that I had with you this assembly. Uh, that's because I love you and I want you to grow. Uh, God bless you and uh, thank you once again. Let me continue. Thank you, Principal, for your sharing. On behalf of our class teacher, Ms. Divya, and students of class 5B, I would like to express happiness to have the presence of all our school heads of our assembly. I wish to thank our supervisor, Ms. Elizabeth, for training us to put up this assembly so effectively with a valuable time. We would also like to thank Ms. Bella for a valuable meditation time. A special note of thanks to our dear parents and siblings who cooperated 
assembly possible. Thank you with a grateful heart. Remember, humanity still exists. Do your good deed and the rest to God. Stay home, stay safe, stay blessed. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our assembly. Goodbye, see you, and may God bless you. That's the end of the assembly, my dear boys, teachers. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Father Bernard. Uh, thank you, Miss Krista, Sir Clifford, for your presence. It indeed inspires our boys to, you know, to, to give off their best. God uh, bless you. Have a safe and healthy day.